man, so, so much has been happening, and as you can see, it is a mess in here, but. So today I have a quick video on how to make your simple time lapses or cinematic footage that is still to make it something look like this. <laughs> So yeah, those clips were from a couple of my past videos, and I've been doing this uh, transform thing on Final Cut Pro. Let's stop talking about it and get right into the video. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Let's get right into it. So for this tutorial, I'm using two time lapses that I shot three days ago um, in a previous vlog. Um, you should go check it out, it's pretty awesome. So what you're going to do is click on your time lapse, go up to the settings bar, and we are going to press the scale or transform option. Press the keyframe button add new keyframe and scale this up. And I'm going to be going from the top left, a little less zoomed in, and then drag your cursor all the way to the end of the clip, go one frame backwards, and then zoom it out to whatever position you would like. I want it to go across the screen and I want it to scale sideways. And then you just play that back. And it creates this really cool effect. So you can do this with this one as well. You can really get creative. I used, um, I really did some crazy stuff in my last video. So yeah, it's a really simple solution to make a not so interesting shot a little bit more interesting. And yeah, you can really, you just lay that first keyframe and then change whatever you want in the next shot and it will happen. And then you just play it back. It just makes it look really unique. And what I do for my other B-roll is um, add a film strip over top of it. So I'll leave a title plugin. It's a title plugin that I'll leave in the description on how to do this. So once you've downloaded it, press or type in, once you've downloaded it, type in adjustment layer in your titles and drag that over top of your footage. Now click effects, type in letterbox. I already did and drag that onto your adjustment layer. Now that you have it on your adjustment layer, you can bring it to two, three, five, one, and this is a general um, cinematic crop. And now you just play that back and it just makes it look really cinematic. And if you would like to continue to color grade, you can add LUTs. You can also add LUTs and color grading to this to make it look better on the adjustment layer, but I am going to save that for another video. And yeah, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.